here I am in the back office of my points of origin website. In order to place the code, I have to know where that code goes. Now in this case, back to my website, this code is on a side panel. If it was on a page, then I would look for the code to place it on a page. Or if it was on my blog post, I would look for a post. So just to show you this again, here are posts, here are pages, but in this case, it's on a side panel, which is actually in a widget. So I have to find the widget. So in this case, I'm gonna click on widgets. And this shows the page where all my widgets are. Now, every single website building software has their own idiosyncrasies. In this case, what I'm looking for is a place to put the HTML, which is the, what we call the code that Amazon provides in order to show the picture or, what, or the link or whatever it is. So it's a custom HTML block. And typically, you would just add that and put it wherever you wanted it. Now, I already have it here on my page sidebar. This is the custom HTML code. And if I click on that, you'll see that it has the Amazon. You can see right here, it says Amazon right there. So this is where I placed, come back here to the code that I got right here. Okay, so that's how I got that image and I selected the large image. So I selected all this code right here. It's actually longer than you can see in this box. And all I did was copy it and paste it into this widget. That's it. And then it shows where that, that widget shows up. The other way I could have gotten that same code, just, to, just so you know, is to have gone to my... Um, Amazon Associates account and clicked on product links and done a search for that code. So the way I would have done that is come in here and you know, once you know what you're getting, you could just take part of this, part of the, the um, name of the product and then place it in the search box. And this is also helpful because sometimes they don't have the exact thing or you might see other choices in here. So this might be something else I want to put on my site at a later time or in another place that shows where people can purchase you know, entire cases of this stuff because people do go through this pretty quickly and it's relatively expensive. So if there's a way that they can save money, uh, it would be nice for me to let them know that. So those are two ways. Oh wait, I didn't show you where you get the code then. You would just go right here. And in this case, you wanna click on get link, that big box right there. It's a little different than the drop down. And now you have those same three choices where you can get the text and the image, the text only, which in this case is this all this text right here, or the image only. So there's the big box, the big large image, and it, you can decide what page it goes to, just the offer listing or the detail page. And then here is all that code. So you can highlight it, right click and click copy. So it's the same thing. And I think this is actually where I got it, but it doesn't matter. I just wanted to show you both ways that you can get the code. And then your job is to just find the idiosyncrasy of your particular website to figure out where you're putting the code. So this is, a, in this case, it says HTML. Now it might also say, put in an iframe. That would work the same way. So let me show you that. Here's a website builder I'm currently using. So I just created a web page. It says Amazon example. And so this is a blank web page. So I'm gonna speed this up for you so you can see how this is done. And then I'll slow it down when we get to the part where it says add an iframe.
Okay, so you can see I just put together this little uh, panel on this web page here. So now what I want to do is I want to add the code so I get a picture right here. So this is where in this particular software, instead of looking for HTML code, I'm actually looking for what's called an iframe. It's the same idea. And so you place it in there. And now this is where I'm going to place the code that's going to give me the picture. So let's go get that. Now I'm back in here and I'm just gonna find the right place to place that code. All right, so this is starting to look good. Now, I cannot change the size of this. This is controlled by that Amazon code, but I think it fits pretty well. I tried to match some of the colors. This color probably isn't quite right, but that's okay. It's close enough. So let's go see what this looks like in preview mode. All right, and you always wanna test. So when I click here, does it take me? It does, it takes me to the Amazon page, that's right. And, oh, we didn't, we didn't get the button code. So let's go get the button code. So for buttons, you wanna get the, the actual link. So let's go to the, uh, just the text link. And there's the, the button code that we're gonna use. So I'm just gonna copy that. And then I'm gonna go back to my website and let's click on the button. And we gotta move this down here for a second. So we want to link to, you can have all these choices right here, but we want to link to an actual website. So I'm going to put the URL right here. And I want it to open in a new tab that keeps my website still open. Sometimes you can do the same tab. Like if you're still within your website, you would use the same tab. But since we're going outside of my website and I still want them to keep points of origin open, I want, them, I want this to open in a new tab. So we hit select. I can move this back up here so it looks a little bit better. All right, and now when we preview, let's see if this works. Oops. And let's go ahead and save this. Buttons usually don't work unless it's saved. So we'll go ahead and save and publish this. And let's go to the website here. So this is the actual website. So there's my page. Click on that. It takes me to the right web page, and then let's check the button. I come to the button. Oh, look, it has a little hover effect there that I like. So the text and the button change, that's fun. And then it also takes me to the site. So hopefully this gives you an idea of whenever you're getting code, you just have to find out where to put it on your website. And you can see how easy it is. I just did that in a few minutes. I put that together. So my recommendation is go ahead and set up your Amazon account and then link it to your regular account so that you can activate the site Stripe and then start collecting links of products that you yourself use and you would recommend to your patients and start creating a list, have a separate document. It can be a Word document or it can be a spreadsheet where you start putting different products and the Amazon links that go with them. And I'll show you how to use that in another, in another video.